One of the most fun videos that I made during the pandemic was the video in which I announced my Etsy shop and showed the shirts, I think, that I had in the shop and I might have had some planners that I was showing at that point too, but anyway, um, I really enjoyed making that video and part of me kind of wanted to continue doing shop updates or shop vlogs, but I kept talking myself out of it, uh, you know, for all the reasons that I've already shared in my sort of like rebranding video. But I'm doing it now because I really enjoyed it and I feel like I'm learning so much and so if there's anyone out there who is also doing a little bit of an Etsy thing or just trying to work on some hobbies or monetize their hobbies, I just want to show my process and some of the things I'm learning. It's November 27th and I have been working on the 2022 planner for my shop for a few weeks now, um, just trying to like get all the designs ready to go and figure out how to print and assemble these things myself this year. Last year I created the what I call the Life Priority Planner. Basically it was just a way that I have used myself to focus on how to prioritize things in my life rather than just make like a never ending to-do list that I'll never complete and feel like a failure over. So I figured, hey, other people might have that perspective as well, so I developed this planner. Um, so I was creating all the pages from scratch and then I decided to get them printed at the kind of last minute. I was really last minute on most things the past couple years or year plus of running my shop. So I kind of threw this together last minute and I got them bound, which it's not my first choice getting a book bound like this rather than like a wire binding that you can like flip the pages all the way over or have it lay flat. But this was the option I had. This is the option I went with. Now all of that leads to yesterday when I printed one of these bad boys. So I decided to just go ahead and print the 2022 dated planner um, that I think I'll be using, <laughs> depending on how the rest of this goes, we'll get there. But um, printed this hefty boy, we've got a lot of pages, um, and I printed it on just standard letter size because I was also curious of offering maybe multiple sizes. Why do I have a too much problem? This is so bad for me. The second size will be probably close to this one. Uh, I'm thinking of doing like eight and a half by five and a half insides with like six by nine covers. Um, so that's in the works, but I at least wanted to print out one big boy for myself and just make sure that like the sizing looks okay and like nothing is has mistakes. Here's what's on the docket for today. I'm gonna redesign some of my planners for the smaller page size. I have to like totally redesign them because the proportions from eight and a half by 11 to five and a half by eight and a half are not the same and there's like extra space on the top and bottom. Uh, I need to figure out what to do with the front covers for my big boy planners. I ordered some of the back covers yesterday in a bit of a bigger size, but then I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> these front covers are gonna be too small. So have to figure that out today. So anyway, enough chit chat, I should probably get to work. peppermint chocolate candies and that took a lot longer than I expected. I was able to manually reformat every single design for the smaller page size but I'm having a lot of trouble printing the dang thing at the correct size and I have set up my sort of assembled assembly documents um, with like one month and one week and you know just like one of each page so that I can easily duplicate all the weeks and months and like assemble it uh, when the time comes and like once I'm sure that the designs are good so pretty good spot uh, for now but I don't know I don't like that I still feel so confused but there we are all right slight problems with the planners uh, not only 
have uh, my not all my pieces come so I ordered a couple different sizes and colors of wire rings um, some covers some papers etc um, I've gotten the printer and I've gotten a few of the items but one of the things I got were these chipboard covers that are pre-punched to go into my wire binding machine um, I got these to be a little bit bigger than letter sized paper so that they could act as back covers that would like extend a little bit past typical paper. So height wise, they're fine. Lengthwise, they stick out over the edge. Uh, and I literally took out a ruler and measured it. And these are supposed to be eight and three quarters inches wide. They are less than eight and a half inches wide. So I had to email the company I got them from and try to either get a replacement or a refund or something because these are not as advertised. So I was getting very close to being able to finish my first prototype of one of these planners. I was planning on doing it today on my day off from work. Uh, my printer came and everything. So I was ready to print out a cover because I actually designed a couple cover options just to see. And uh, yeah, I don't have the color rings that I want for my, cause I'm gonna end up using this one as my personal planner, which like I could work around, like I was gonna just use the other color, but no, I can't even use the back cover, so. I just don't don't have anything. <laughs> and ordering supplies and things, it's just like part of running a business that's also really hard because anytime I'm ordering something for my shop, I am putting up a bunch of money up front and it's hard because the more you order, the more you save, like the cheaper cost per unit you can get. Uh, and so uh, it sucks because I don't have the numbers to be like, oh yes, I need 5,000 of this thing. Um, so I have to make decisions constantly about how many options I offer, what colors I offer, what sizes I offer. And with all this chaos with this planner right now, I'm having that bit of imposter syndrome and uncertainty thinking that maybe I, maybe I jumped in a little too hard on this somehow, or maybe I shouldn't have been trying to plan all of this so late. But I know that I'm going to be learning so much once all these things do come and I start assembling these planners. This opens the door for me to offer other types of planners year round, not just the annual planners, but like maybe I can start printing the gratitude journal I have and bind it myself and sell it as a physical thing, uh, you know, things like that. So I'm headed in the right direction. It's just, it's I really have to be constantly reminding myself of that because my gut reaction is that I have completely messed all this up and I want to go hide in a hole. All right, so I am off to do whatever it is I could do for now. <laughs> shocked at how giddy I got when I closed the binding on this first book uh, because it's just been such a stressful process like 
I still don't have a bunch of the supplies that I ordered and all my plans got delayed and it's like it's been really frustrating and overwhelming and I you know there are things about this that I still might want to tweak but it was just a really cool feeling to have everything printed out getting everything punched and assembling it and then just closing the ring and having like a real life book <laughs> these are the moments that I try to really take note of and remember because this is why I do these things. <laughs> like I did all of that work to have this in my hands and be able to offer it to people. So that is what I'm trying to stay in right now as I await more information on, on my supplies and just trying to make even more decisions going forward. But all in all, we are at a point where I'm ready to photograph this and get it out into the world and then this becomes my planner next year so um i'm really excited to crack into this once i'm done with all the photos and start planning my year because it's getting real close to the end of the year if i filmed every part of this process forever and ever this video would never end so i am just going to call it here because we have a thing so thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Leave a comment to let me know what you think about this kind of video format and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.